Alright, this isn't good because I'm going to run out of fuel basically for sure. Uh oh. Mirages. Welcome back. Today we're going to be having a look at the Yak 141, rank 8, battle rating 12.0, Soviet supersonic jet fighter. The Yak 141, as many of you probably already know, is a vertical takeoff and landing style jet, VTOL jet. It is currently the highest battle rating one in the game, and the only, like, supersonic one. It's also the most capable one as far as maneuverability and performance goes, as even though it looks similar to the Yak-38, it is incredibly maneuverable. Now this is very similar to the MiG-29 in terms of armament. It gets the same cannon as a MiG-29, it can carry the same types of missiles as a MiG-29. Just like a MiG-29, you can only carry up to two R-27 ERs. It has a similar radar, not quite the same as a MiG-29. I believe a MiG-29 is a better radar from my experience, from what I've kind of gathered, but it's pretty similar overall. You have about the speed performance of something like an F4 Phantom, although you do accelerate quite well. However, the maneuverability, despite what it looks like and despite it being a VTOL, is incredible. Just on its own, without even using the VTOL, it is already a very competitive jet, right? With the VTOL systems engaged, it becomes one of the most maneuverable jets at times in the entire game. Not all the time, but when it wants to be, it is insane. You can pull some crazy maneuvers in this thing, it's kind of ridiculous. Now, unlike the MiG-29, you can only carry up to four missiles. As you can see here, I have two R-60Ms and two R-27ERs. This is basically what the MiG-29 would have, minus two additional R-60Ms, right? However, unlike the MiG-29, you can carry up to four R-27Rs, or two R-27ERs and two R-27Rs, you know, your choice, just no more than two R-27ERs. Same, go same deal goes for the R-27Ts as well. Meaning you could have two R27ERs and two R27Ts in this thing if you so desired. I do not have the R27Ts unlocked yet, that'll be for a future video. Now this is not a great map for this, this is a really good map for MiG-29s, F-14s, etc. Because it's pretty much just a missile slinging map. This thing is very well suited on like Vietnam, or somewhere where you can kind of dip down into the mountains and really, you know, pull some surprise maneuvers, jut out of, you know, some canyon or something take someone by surprise, etc. Not really so much you can do like that here, per se. So we're just gonna have to go right into the fray and see what I can do. We got an F-14 out here, let's get him locked up. Send out an R-27ER. It kinda lost the lock a little bit at the end of ideal missile launching, but... Oh, no, and it is switched to their missile. Wonderful. Well, I don't want that to hit a friendly, so let's unlock that. Let's try that again. There's an F-4E. No, lock the F4E, please. There we go. There we go. Head on like this. This is where the Yak-141 thrives. And... Beautifully done. Okay. 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 I'm not really sure what just happened there. But, alright. As you saw in the last game, that's a pretty good example of what I mean by the radar isn't as good as the MiG-29s, even though it's a similar model. It's a different variant of the same like model, if I'm not mistaken. It is just not as good. If I was in the MiG-29, it would have kept the lock almost certainly on both of those aircraft, and almost certainly would have gotten two kills, at least one kill, right? But it just fell through, it just fell short on both of them. The real fun to be had in this plane, though, comes from when you get into a turn fight style engagement, when you get a surprise jump on someone, especially if it's like a Phantom, but you know, A29, F14, F16, you really can roll with just about everything as long as you play your cards right. And that is where this thing becomes real fun. Otherwise, I mean, if you're just trying to do BVR kind of stuff, you know, the MiG-29 will be better. But a map like this, I have hoped that we can actually get into an interesting engagement, and not just a missile slinging fest and nothing else. Right, I'm gonna go tuck myself away in these mountains here and see if I can't surprise something heading for one of our bases. 
I should have just tried to get that Phantom of Guns, but I was trying to switch to the R60s, but it just was not switching quickly enough for whatever which reason. So, in hindsight, I definitely should have just tried to engage with guns, but I also didn't really want to lose a head-on. I wanted to try to make a second pass with missiles or something, but eh, I didn't realize there was a F-16 on my tail right then, so. Ooh, okay, we got a target inbound here. Let's, uh, let's try to somewhat long range this. Let's send out an R-27ER, see what it can do. And we've lost the lock. We don't want to stick up this high for too long, though, so... Alright, let's drop it again. Let's drop ourselves and get back down. Alright. Uh-oh. Come on, don't shoot me down, hey guys. Once more, I have decent confidence that if I was in the MiG-29 for that, I would have gotten a kill. So, I'm hoping we can actually get into a turn fight engagement with something here so I can really showcase what the Yak 141 is good at. Of course, everyone just hangs out in the big open valleys and just slings missiles until they die, so I'm just gonna have to join in on that, basically. Oh, we have something right here. Please. Yes, there we go. It's an F4S. Gonna have to get over this mountain before I could try to do anything with it, though. Probably not going to be a good enough situation set up for a missile launch. Maybe it is, though. Um, let's send it out. Sure, why not? Hopefully it reaches in time here. Bingo. Beautiful. All right. Now, we gotta go in, and we gotta fight up close and personal here. R60 out on the F-14. Ooh, okay. We're doing it, we're doing it. All right, we are in an actual turn fight engagement. This is good. As you can see, beautiful, look at that. Gotta be a little careful here. Alright, that's good enough. Let's get out of here. Put out some flares. I can't stay too focused on him for too long. Because they are toast. We got a Vigan nearby, so I gotta be real careful. There we go, got him. This is one of the most fun aircraft in the game, in my opinion, when you actually are able to get up close and personal and just have a one-on-one -on -one dogfight with another plane. All right, the Vigan is inbound. Let's be careful. It's fighting our MiG-29, so it might not really know I'm here that much. Let's swing in. Let's get a lock, send out an R-60M. Or not. Okay. Weird. It just... Oh! Apparently I'm almost out of fuel. Okay. That's good to know. That's really not good, but it's good to know, you know? As you can see, I just turned with the Vigan somewhat here. Got a critical hit. And they killed me, which is all good and fair, because I was going to run out of fuel anyways. But I think I got them. I'm not quite sure. Oh, let's J out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, that's, that's not going to be an open casket funeral, that's for sure. Another difference between this and the MiG-29 is you do not get a drop tank, so keep that in mind. You gotta watch that fuel carefully. As I've been playing a lot more naval recently than I have been playing air battles, as weird as that might sound, 
I kind of, you know, forgot about the whole afterburner just burns through fuel quicker than you could ever imagine deal. You know, just slightly important to keep in mind. If the AK-141 had the exact same radar as the MiG-29, I would be willing to say that it is a better aircraft than the MiG-29 as far as worth under gameplay goes. Unfortunately, though, it does not have the same radar. Thus, the MiG-29 is overall, overall, you know, a better aircraft. Now, would this win in like a 1v1 turn fight with the MiG-29? Yeah, probably. As long as you play your cards right. Would this win in a BVR engagement with the MiG-29? Probably not. And that is the big difference here. BVR is king right now at top tier. Okay, we got an F-14, but he's got multiple friendlies on his tail, so that is not a good target to try to hit with a radar missile right now. All right, I believe there's an F-16 right here, right about. Oh, yep, yep, indeed. Poorly aimed on my part, because that was kind of a panic moment. But uh, let's turn around here. There it is, all right. Let's show it a thing or two about maneuverability here. Oh, or not, I guess it just wants to run away. So, let's see if I can maybe get it. Ah, it's probably gonna get killed by that 14, isn't it? Nope, wow. All right, R27ER out. Yeah, throw out some flares, buddy. Throw out some flares, because that'll help you. I really did not expect that thing to be cresting the hill like 0.7 kilometers away or whatever like that. Holy crap. That was kind of embarrassing to miss, but I <laughs> did not expect that. Okay, F4S. So lock him up. Send out an R27ER. Head on, so hopefully should be a good solid kill here. And boom. Beautiful. Uh oh, we got something out here. Okay. Alright, it's another F4S since they're out in R60. I can't see anything right now. Alright, he's got a MiG-21 on his tail, so he's kind of toast here, no matter what happens. Beautiful, beautiful. Almost got killed myself there because I was kind of slow at that, but got him all the same. Now just to hope that it does not get stolen from me. Come on, just go down. Please, give me the kill. Yes, wonderful. See, this is the kind of gameplay that shows, you know, why I like this aircraft. It's very versatile when it wants to be. The first game is a pretty good, I guess, example of what happens when things go wrong, though. But this is a really fun plane. All right, we are finally on Vietnam. This is a pretty good place to be for this aircraft, so hopefully this will go pretty well for me. As you can see, so far we've done pretty good. The first game was a flop, and like I said, if we were in a MiG-29, that first game probably would have been a success. However, some of the kills that I've gotten since then, like on that F-14, would have been as at least easily possible that quickly in a MiG-29. This thing, like I said, can do some maneuvers in some situations that other aircraft just cannot do. 
Whether it's an F-16, a MiG-29, F-14, Mirage 2000, this thing can do things that those aircraft cannot do. And that's where it excels. However, if you if you throw this just into the same kind of situations you would like a MiG-29, the MiG-29 is going to be better, right? You got to play this very differently because it's it's not just a MiG-29 with less missiles and VTOL, you know. It's a very unique, different experience, and you have to treat it as such. But once you get the hang of playing it, and you figure out where to bring it and how to use it properly, even if you don't succeed every game, you know, I mean, obviously you won't, just because that's how it goes. This is a very fun aircraft, and powerful too, overall. Well, it is really satisfying to get, you know, 30 kilometer, 36 kilometer BVR kills in the MiG-29, I have a lot more fun in this thing overall, because once you get up into those close engagements and you throw out that VTOL a little and you're just, you know, whoever you're going up against is just struggling and you're just keeping right on them, getting your nose on target wherever you want it to go every time, yeah, it is just an incredible experience when that happens. However, as with any top tier 12.0, 11.7, 11.3, 11.0, it's top tier, so you can and will get screwed over quite frequently. That's the beautiful, magical thing about top tier. You could be in an F-14, you could be in a Yak-141, a MiG-29, or an F-16, and you can still get equally as screwed over at random, all the same. Hell, you could even do everything right. You could stay low, you could be cautious, you could be careful, you could skirt around the outskirts, and then suddenly, oh, what's that? There's a MiG-29 behind you. Oh, why wasn't it marked until just now? I don't know. And then it kills you, you know? <laughs> and that's why top tier is not for everyone. Okay, our our, uh, our team has gotten a little, uh, how do we put it? Decimated, I think is the proper term. I mean, as you can see, yeah, there's uh, two people with kills and uh, almost the entire team is gone. So it is basically all up to me to lose the game because uh, I'm not I'm not clutching this there's no way myself and a tornado are gonna make a comeback that strong but if I can get a kill or two and I can join the top percentage of people on the team uh, that's good enough for me all right an unwinnable situation let's go I almost certainly know that I'm here because I just pinged a few of them with radar trying to get a lock trying to you know feel out what's in front of me, how far away they are, etc. They're still pretty far out. Oh, okay. That's that, yeah. I knew the Mirage was right over there. I thought there was a Mirage getting killed by something. That would have been crazy, because it would have been a team kill. Where's that Mirage? I don't know. Let's get back down to our mountains here. I don't like going back up, going out like that. Let's, let's get away. This is one of those planes where you really gotta play with a fish mindset. You have to have the mindset mentality of a fish. You look at the map and you ask yourself, where's the structure here? And then you find the structure and you, you linger around it. You hug the structure, you go close to it, and that's where you live, that's your home. And you don't stray too far out into the open deep waters, you know what I'm saying? It's, uh, it's not gonna end well for you. But if you have to, you have to. There's some tornadoes out there. I guess I'll head towards them. Quite far out. The Mirage has crashed. Excellent. This is becoming more winnable by the minute. I mean, the enemies that I'm aware of the existence of aren't that intimidating. Tornadoes, MiG-21. But, uh, there's just a lot of them. There's only one of me. Oh, that's a MiG-29. Never mind. There is an intimidating enemy. Hey. Okay. The base, the base and aircraft screwed the crap out of me. I did not expect that. Oh, one of the AI and aircraft guns on my team has taken out the tornado. This is good. Becoming more, more and more winnable by the minute. I'll floor it once I get close, but right now I'm hanging at 89% to save fuel. Got a tornado, maybe alone. I think this is around where the MiG-29 was, so I'm not quite certain. Let's see if I can get a lock. See if I can get a lock. See if I can get a lock. Let's, let's see if I can get a lock. There we go. About time. All right. Now they're gonna have to turn around here for me to be able to get a good pull stop their launch. 
Oh, and they've begun a turn. Almost, almost there, almost there. Okay, the radar is like lagging behind. That was annoying. Let's kill him with guns here. Okay, critical hit. Not quite what I was looking for, but still pretty good. Switch to the R60Ms right now. Now, a tornado cannot even dream about maneuvering me. Another hit. Alright, let's see if I can finish him off here. Let's move around, get a little closer. I have limited ammo. Let's get a radar lock so I can get my... I guess I don't have a lead indicator. Oop, good to know. Alright, come on. gun is all over the place from where I expect it to be. Okay, now he's gone. Okay, that was a little embarrassing, but I believe I took care of business plenty sufficiently. Switch back to the ERs. He should be going down now. Let's get off the afterburner. Beautiful. Not beautiful, it worked. I was fully expecting to have that lead indicator kind of deal like an F-16 would have when I locked him with the radar there. That's why I was kind of taken back. I'm getting locked from all sides now because, yep, they're here. And they are upset that I killed their teammate. MiG-29, R-27ER out. If I can get mine out before he has one out, I should be good here. Bam. Uh oh Gotta be careful. Oh, -ho. that was close. That was close. When you make your presence known in this thing, it hits hard, that's for sure. I think I think overall this is probably, so far, my favorite top tier aircraft that I've played. Uh oh, Mirage, okay. Lock him up. R27ER out. And should also be a kill for me here. Nope, oh, close. Oh. Alright, well, they hit him, so they should be dead, more or less, here. Uh oh, we got something behind me. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna have to deal with- oh, it's a MiG-29, yep, yep, yep. I'm almost out of fuel, though, so it's not good. Alright, let's throw an R-60 out. Okay, that did nothing. Alright, this isn't good, because I'm gonna run out of fuel, basically, for sure. Uh-oh, the Mirage is alive still. Okay. Oh, and it died. <laughs> that was weird. I'll take it. Right, we're here on Sinai. Been having good luck so far. I'm hoping I can keep that streak going. But it's kind of inevitable that at some point it's going to be broken. So, well, let's hope for the best. We'll say, though, I am definitely pleased with the results so far. I was kind of worried that I was going to have a really bad streak of luck the whole recording session after that first game. And, well, it's a very good plane, right? It's a very fun plane, it's a cool plane, and I was kind of worried that I was not going to do it proper justice with this recording, because I just kind of sit down and I just record, right? I don't cherry pick the best, you know, 
six of 20 games or something I just record and that's that really like being in the cockpit view flying low over the water like this very proper fitting kind of place to be for this aircraft as it is a carrier aircraft after all this thing also just kind of looks crazy I mean yeah it's bizarre just all the random feature shapes it looks like some kind of sci-fi tech plane almost and if you're a big fan of the f-35b well this is kind of like the f-35b that we have in war thunder at the moment it even looks pretty similar and well the f-35b kind of uses about the exact same uh, VTOL system for the rear main engine part there different system for the front but yeah we pretty much took that and kind of lifted it made some modifications tweaks improvements upgrades modernizations etc and that's pretty much what the f-35b uses along with a different system for the front so yeah, this is kind of uh, kind of like an F-35 in War Thunder right now, in a way, in its own little way. Alright, let's see, we're on Sinai, so just big flat open empty map here. Not the best place to be as you saw in the first game versus all the other games. This is not really the environment for this thing. Whoa! Okay, a missile just blew up out of range somewhere right there, so let's be careful. Something might be looking in my direction that I didn't know about. A lot of Yak-141s right now. Ooh, we just got a team kill and a crash. That's not good. We just lost two friendlies in one fell swoop without an enemy even coming close. Oh, ooh, speaking of enemies coming close. Oh, it's probably dead right here. There it goes. Yak one for one. Got it. All right. Got an F-16 out here. He's got a bunch of MiG-29s and crap on his tail, so yeah. There it goes. I love how this thing looks like an F-15, a MiG-31, and an F-35 just kind of smooshed together. Alright, it's not looking good for chances of getting a kill here. Whoa, that's not what I meant to do. Come on, lock on the close one. Lock, 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 okay. That might be too close. Might be too- oh, no, no. Beautiful, look at that. Oh man, I love our 27 ERs. It's one of the most fun missile in the game to use, for sure. That guy's dead, so I'm not going to take that from them. I just gotta find that last player of theirs. Ooh, this might be him right here. Or it's an AI. I think I see an AI diving. Uh, or it's them diving. I have no idea. Gotta get closer. Pretty sure it's the AI, though. Might not be AI. Nah, dev, it is. It is. Oh, the contrail up here, though. That's a whole different story, isn't it? Yes, there we go. Let's fire up and send off an R27ER. Let's keep them in lock here. Beautiful. I love those things so much. There we go. Sinai, but I actually got good results. It's almost like the first game was just me being a little kind of rusty with things. The radar screwed me over a little too, though. Alright, you know what time it is. It's VTOL time. Let's swing those into position. Let's get up into the air. The only proper way to do so in this kind of aircraft. Shame on me for not having done this at least once earlier. Alright. Once we get just high enough, let's slam it right into zero percent. The least efficient way to take off, but a fun one. As you can see, my team's already 10 kilometers ahead of me, but it does not matter, because I'm now at zero percent. And uh, I'm unstable, but I'm going. This thing gets up and going pretty quick. 
Vietnam is such a perfect map for this plane. All these canyons and valleys and mountains and places to hide in, zigzag around, jump out of, you know. It's just perfectly set up for this plane, in my opinion, that is, of course. But, uh, yeah, this is definitely where I want to be in this aircraft. Of course, it's not foolproof. You know, somewhere like Sinai isn't, like, impossible, obviously, as you saw last game. Did okay. But, yeah, this is just the place to be. Of course, everyone is just hanging out in a big clump in the middle. But, you know, that's just how it goes. Fire on the afterburner. We got an F-16 up in front here. Let's send out an R-27ER, somewhat long range out on him. It's going down low, so it's probably going to break the lock at some point here. Or not. It went it went for chaff. It went for his chaff. Wow, okay. Excellent, alright. <clears throat> Never mind then. Let's carry on. Uh, I want a slightly better lock than I have presented before me here. Alright, let's send it off. They're turning this way, so that should be good. And bam. <laughs> Send out an R60 on this MiG-21. Ah, no luck. Not a surprise though. Oh, oh. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Okay, I guess, okay, no mind. <laughs> I was very confident in my ability to get the killer right there. Oh, that would have been cool as well. Damn, how did I miss that Phantom? The first one. There you have it, there's the Act 141. I'll do a video later on at some point once I get the R27Ts, because that could be a lot of fun. But just in its current configuration as is, it is a great aircraft. Very fun to play, very competitive, even if it is, you know, disadvantage with the radar and the less missiles compared to the MiG-29, it is still a wonderful plane. Yes, the MiG-29 is a better radar, it gets more missiles, it's faster, it accelerates a little better, you can carry an external fuel tank, so you have a greater range that you can, you know, stay out on the battlefield for. But this thing is just special and fun and great in its own very unique way, okay? And that's a big, big part of this plane, is how unique it is. It's like, yeah, the F-16, the MiG-29, Mirage 2000, the F-14, they're all very different planes, and they all play in their own very different ways, but... Not so much so as this thing, right? If you have the MiG-29, if you have the F-16, if you have the F-14, if you have the Mirage 2000, there's still plenty reason to get this thing because it's going to be way different than anything you already have. And that's what I really like about it. If I was doing a competitive thing, I'd probably take the MiG-29, but just for fun, I'd probably take this thing. Anyways, thank you everyone for watching, hope everyone enjoyed, and I'll see everyone in the next video.